Google Glass has some competition. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Consumers may have to wait a year or longer before the Google Glass computerized headsets go on sale, but Vuzix may have its own version out by the middle of 2013. The Vuzix Smart Glasses M100 is something like a hands-free smartphone. It has an HD camera and a color display that's projected to your field of vision, showing data from your smartphone. A non-working model was on display in New York for a Consumer Electronics Show preview event, so I didn't get to see the projected image for myself. But the CEO described it to me as similar to holding a smartphone screen 14 inches away from your eye. The image just floats there. Videos taken can be saved to a memory card inside the headset. It connects to both Apple and Android phones via Bluetooth, and it has the ability to connect to Wi-Fi. It also has built-in GPS and an accelerometer. What you'll be able to do with this all depends on the apps created for it. The processor is powered by Android, so developers can create Android apps to do anything, like navigation, gaming, there are endless possibilities. The company plans to sell this for less than $500, but we'll just have to wait until the CES show in January to find out more. The Jawbone Up is back from the dead. The fitness wristband monitor has returned after being off the market for a year because of problems with the battery draining and not recharging. Production of the Up was halted and customers were given refunds, but Jawbone has redesigned it and it's available for pre-order. For $130, this wristband is supposed to be a computer you wear on your wrist all day long. It tracks steps, logs your sleep length and quality, and it will vibrate if you've been lazy for too long. Right now, there's only an app for Apple devices, but the app does give you analysis on your statistics. This version has a stronger, more flexible circuitry and wiring. It's also more resistant to elements. This holiday shopping season, you'll see retail stores getting creative to fight showrooming. That's when you go into a store like Best Buy or Target to spend time touching the products, but then you leave to buy it cheaper online. Some stores are encouraging customers to use their apps while inside the store. Walmart, for example, has an app for iPhones that shows deals specific to the store you're in, what aisle you can find an item, and you can buy online if it's not in the store. Toys R Us also redesigned its mobile shopping apps to help users find more info and reviews on a product by scanning the barcode in the store. Shoppers can also buy online using the app and pick it up in the store within three hours. That's your tech news update. You can find links to all of these stories on the blog, cnet.com slash update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.